It is hard to escape the influence of celebrities and people that are constantly in the limelight. They seep into our decision-making processes and consumer habits ranging from clothes, electronics, food, cars, and for the sake of this review, sneakers. When Adidas signed Kanye West towards the tail end of 2013 into the beginning of 2014, they banked on his astronomical popularity, or lack thereof, plus his influence to steal away Nike loyalists and tight beasts alike. In January 2015, Adidas introduced the Ultra Boost as the greatest running shoe ever, and that was a bold claim. While it may not be the greatest running shoe ever, it is currently one of the most popular, if not the most popular sneaker in streetwear. A lot of its success can be attributed to Kanye. In May of 2015, Wes was spotted on stage at a concert in LA, sporting an all-white pair of Ultra Boosts. The resulting aftermath shot this sneaker and Adidas into must-have status. Which leads us to what we'll be reviewing today, the Adidas Ultra Boost. What was intended to be a major player in the performance running shoe arena, the Ultra Boosts are the most technologically advanced sneakers Adidas has to offer, and at a retail price of $180. The upper is made of prime knit, which allows for maximum breathability and a comfy, sock-like fit. It also features an Adidas logo style cage, which is designed for support and doubles as eyelets for the laces. I did experience a little bit of discomfort on the outer part of the foot. Once broken in, I didn't even notice it. The defining part of this sneaker is the all boost midsole. Every step has that extra noticeable bounce without the unbalanced feel the Nike Air Max units sometimes deliver. With that in mind, the Adidas Ultra Boost is unmatched in everyday usage comfort. The bottom of these sneakers feature the stretch web outsole, which aids in the energy return of the boost. Stretchweb was also designed to hold the 100% boost midsole in place. The rounded protrusions you see on the bottoms add to the already incredibly cushioned shoe. One downside to extremely grippy Ultra Boost though is its tendency to make a squishy, squeaky noise when walking on hardwood. For the fit, the Adidas Ultra Boost does run true to size, but for the wide footers out there, consider going a half size up to accommodate the sock like construction. The Ultra Boosts are complementary to all sorts of outfits, and we have a recommendation for you. So rock the Ultra Boost with a gray or white long tee, black distressed slim fit or skinny denim, along with a beige hoodie, and an olive green bomber, and you got a pretty dope outfit on your hands. Comfort is an area these sneakers shine brightly in. Since it was designed to be a performance running sneaker, its cushioning and comfort are incredible, and they get better as one uses it more and more. Whether they intended to or not, Adidas create a running shoe that has actually become the everyday must-have casual sneaker. And that's the review of the Adidas Ultra Boost. Please like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think of this sneaker yourself. <laughs> that was cool. I like that. <laughs>